Are you a parent or a teacher or perhaps a worker in the early childhood field looking for resources and books and giveaways? Well, you're in the right place. Today, I am gonna be going over what's in my spring bag. I'm gonna show you some ideas and there's gonna be giveaways throughout this whole Teaching Tool Thursday. So you don't wanna miss any of it. Let's get to it right now. I wanna welcome you to the Brown Bear Book Club. This is a Teaching Tool Thursday. My name is Brianna. I went from teaching outside of the home in the early childhood field to now teaching right here in, home, in the home and from the home. So in this Teaching Tool Thursday, I wanna first announce that March 20th, the first day of spring, we're gonna be giving away this gem, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. So all you have need to have been is a, a Brown Bear Book Club member. And in order to be a Brown Bear Book Club member, all you have to do is sign up, it's totally free, and you're gonna get access, access to free resources, books, activity ideas, book ideas, and so much more. So make sure you click the sign up button in the description box if you're not already a member. Let's get right into what is in our bag this spring. As you can see, it is foggy, it's raining, it's gonna be sunny one of these days. Those are all the weather conditions that young children are gonna be experiencing this spring, especially if you live in an area where you can experience all four seasons in one day. Well, I want to kick it off first with this book, What Will the Weather Be Like Today? This book is a gem because it covers all the basic weather conditions and it has some funny characters like the white cockatoo talking about it being steamy and hot or the mole doesn't know if it's raining or not. Uh, wet says the duck is the weather for me. And so there's so many different, will it be warm? Will it be windy or a storm? This is a gem that you want to have in your um, classroom or your home this spring. Um, let's go ahead and do a giveaway. So one of the cool things that I'll be giving away the whole month of uh, spring and this whole spring season is the weather wheel. Yes. This is free, go ahead and get it today. It's in the description box. You can make it right now in your home, in your classroom. But basically, um, this gives an opportunity for young children to be the weatherman for today, choose what the weather is, or you can do it as a spinner game. Another thing that is in my bag this spring is bugs, 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 10 ladybugs. This is, um, one thing that I love about uh, the springtime is that this opportunity for children to explore outside and get dirty and get uh, messy and, and discover things. And so one of the things that you'll find is Bugs, Bugs, Bugs by Bob Bonner, 10 Little Ladybugs by Melanie Gurf, illustrated by Laura Haliska Beef. And one thing I love about Bugs, Bugs, Bugs is at the end of the book, it has this great bug -a meter chart. And it has questions like, can it fly? Where does it live? How many legs? Does it sting? Butterfly, ladybug, daddy long, daddy long leg, grasshopper, caterpillar, bee, ant, roly poly. And it has all the little yes or no, or it has numbers of how many legs it has. This is a gem that you wanna have on your shelf this spring. Another gem I found is the 10 Little Ladybugs. 10 by Melanie Groff, illustrated by Laura Beef. What I love about this book is not only does it have lots of spring insect and bugs and animals that you're gonna see, but it also provides the opportunity for one-to-one -one correspondence. So this is a book you don't want to miss. It's time for a giveaway, that's right. Another giveaway I have is Springing Into Books Challenge. These challenges are from babies all the way up to preschool or kindergarten age children. Take a look at it right now. Now what you might have saw is different uh, ways that you can read books like under the tree or under a table or on a rainy day, but you also saw spring project opportunities. Things like creating sensory bottles with infants and toddlers or maybe going on nature walks or one of my favorite is a spring scavenger hunt where you have different colors on the chart and the child is looking for uh, uh, things in nature to match with that color. That is going to be so fun. Let me know in the chat if you already have a spring project 
in mind or something that you're going to be doing this spring, let me know. I want to hear about it. And if you're liking this content so far, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Another spring book, it's starting to rain out here, <laughs> spring weather, is It's Mine by Leo Leone. This book is great because not only are young children going to be seeing, seeing frogs hopping around, but also one thing that we know the young children um, sometimes struggle with is sharing. And one thing you'll find in this book, It's Mine, is that the frogs are all fighting over the earth is mine, the air is mine, and then you find out that a storm came and, and they needed each other and they had to work together. And basically, it really touches on the concept of sharing and not always mine, 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 but changing the language to ours. And then you of course see some great spring illustrations and frogs and things that you're gonna see. You have a toad who comes in and teaches them some lessons or two. This is a great spring gem. Time for another freebie, the weather kit. As you can see, it's starting to rain. And some of the things that you're gonna need this spring is some fun games for rainy days or maybe some weather cards for matching. Um, it's going to include a weather Pictionary game. It's going to include a memory, memory game. Um, it's going to have uh, different weather conditions for children to identify. Um, so make sure you go ahead and get that. It's only going to be free for a few days. I'm thinking maybe seven days, um, the first seven days of spring. So go ahead and get that so you don't miss it. Okay, the next thing in the springtime you see is colors. Everything's blooming, everything's blossoming, and you want young children to start identifying and exploring colors. So here I have Little Blue and Little Yellow by Leo Leone and Mouse Paint by Ellen Stahl Wash. Both of these books cover color mixing, blending, making new colors, um, lots of opportunity to press pause and do different activities. So if you want to read more about these books, make sure you follow me on Instagram, the Brown Bear Book Club, so you can see the activity ideas. But go ahead and check it out in the description box. You might want to go ahead and add that to your shelf. So another little gem is Snuggle Time Psalms. This is a book that I really love, love, love because it has just some fantastic illustrations. And just beautiful, but it has some psalms. And sometimes young children just want to get on your lap, you know, curl up and read a book. This is a great, that I, this is a book that I love to read to my toddler and my infant and it's psalms. So it's very peaceful. The Word of God is very powerful. This is something you want to have on your shelf also this spring. So don't forget that we have the Very Hungry Caterpillar giveaway this March 20th. Um, make sure you don't miss it. If you are not part of the Brown Bear Book Club, it is a free club to join. We're offering books and resources. Um, and this is the Teaching Tool Thursday. So next Thursday, I'm gonna show you some places where you can find some discounts on your books so you're not breaking the bank to get some wonderful, wonderful books for your classroom or your home this spring. All I have for you for now, I'll see you again. This is only the beginning of our spring bag. There's gonna be more giveaways, more freebies. Bye guys.